Hello, I am going to do a tutorial on book rap basics. Not rap as in singing, rap as in wrapping around. Uh, on Khan Academy, there's this project, uh, Bookshelf, I think it's called. And basically, you create an array of book objects. And um, if you didn't know, the curly braces delineate objects inside of an array. So, I mean, it's kind of frustrating because the books don't have X and Y properties. That's not how you're supposed to do it in uh, this project. Um, so what you do is you set up some variables and you have like a conditional and you increment the variables. And so as you're looping over the books, the variables just kind of take care of themselves and then you draw the book at the new location and you don't put like this dot x equals x or I mean uh, x colon 200 or whatever however the syntax is for this kind of object um, this you don't do in the project either I was just uh, translating the screen and scaling it down so that I could make sure that I wasn't drawing books off screen. That's another common error in this project is uh, sure the books will be wrapping around but you're losing one book every row because before it decides to jump back to this and it draws a book over here where we can't see it. So uh, this variable is the width of the books, BW book width. And um, you can see right here, that's the width and height of the rectangles. And <clears throat> so this is, as I said, the coordinate. So each for each book, I'm, I'm going to pick a random color. That could probably be like a property of the books. You could have like or whatever. That kind of syntax going on in there. And then you could say fill books I dot color. Uh, but just to keep things simple, I just picked a random color and right inside the fill statement. So there's a couple of different ways that you can achieve wrapping. And I find the most intuitive is to just test the coordinate of the current book. And so like when i is equal to zero, I'm drawing this. My variables are their initial conditions. After a while, after a certain number of times through this loop, x has been incremented to the point where when i is equal to 3, x is going to be something like 300 and something. Let's see. This is x equals 200. OK, pretty close to 300. Um, so then it looks at if x is greater than width, width is a built-in variable that goes and measures the width of the canvas. So right now the default canvas size is 400, 400. So width is 400. 400 minus BW, so that's 206, I think. No, 306. Whatever. I think you get the point. At this, at this point, um, it decides that x is greater than the width minus one book. So you can see that would be right there. <clears throat> so it draws this book. It increments x one more time. So actually, on that third loop right here in the code, x is going to be something right here. And this value right here is going to be something right here with minus one book. 
So we're here, and we're testing if we're greater than here. So it's going to be true. So it sets x back to 0, which since I did a translate is over here somewhere. And it also increases y by one book width plus 2. We're doing plus 2 here every time, so I get like this little white border in between each one. I don't know if the, you'll be able to see that on the video resolution. They don't even have to be the same number. I can put a greater width in between the vertical ones. Anyways, buffers. Buffers are usually a good thing. And I would usually have those as a variable in other types of programs. When I was when I'm putting buffers in, I'd put var. Uh, I don't know what a good name for that would be. Anyways, I think I'm gonna leave the video as it is. I hope that helped you in wrapping books because this is a pretty common question on Khan Academy. Don't feel afraid to ask questions. We love questions and keep coding.